Welcome to Okaboji Broadcast, everybody. Uh, another kind of overcast, cooler day in the Iowa Great Lakes. I have a very good friend of mine, Mr. John Walls, uh, is here with me today. I've known John for many, many years, and uh, John is an organizer of the fourth annual Joy of Life concert. It's uh, hosted by the Joy of Life Foundation. Together we can fight melanoma. John, my friend, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. It's uh, always a pleasure. It's always a pleasure to talk to you, whether we're in church or we're out by the football field, wherever we're talking, it's always fun. Well, this is a very personal uh, fight for you, very personal battle uh, for your wife, Joy, and um, and for your kids, too. Yes. Let's, let's face it. But uh, tell us a little bit about Joy's story with melanoma. Well, uh, you know, Joy was the healthy one and uh, did everything right. I never went to the doctor. And uh, one day after Thanksgiving, uh, she said, I think I'm going to go uh, to the emergency uh, to urgent care because uh, she wasn't feeling good. I'm like, you're not feeling good. Yeah. And uh, so anyway, she went there and uh, um, diagnosed some stuff. And, and uh, about a week or two later, wasn't feeling any better and, and uh, sort of the same thing. And so finally, we just uh, asked for some more expert advice. And uh, um, they thought maybe that she had uh, ovarian cancer. And so we got down to Des Moines uh, who uh, was supposed to be one of the best uh, ovarian cancer doctors. Sure. And uh, they said, yeah, they think it's ovarian cancer, but uh, just like anything, you never know until you get inside there and do that. So they said, we're going to put her into the hospital and go in and do a biopsy and uh, make sure. And uh, so they did that. And when they came uh, back with a biopsy, uh, they found out that it was a metastatic melanoma, which meant it uh, was spread throughout her whole body. And melanoma is a, a skin cancer. Right. Now, a shock. It was a shock yeah. because um, uh, she was treated seven years before that. Um, and uh, had some spots around her neck. She was at a ball game, actually a baseball game. And a friend of hers came up and said, Joy, you got some spots. I think you should get checked out. And so she went and got them checked out. And... Uh, you know, they thought that they had them all, and uh, she went to her regular checkups, right. and, uh, you know, and so anyway, they thought things were good, and so it went from like every so many months to, you know, a couple years, and all of a sudden, you know, seven years later, uh, here she is not feeling well, and yeah. it uh, re resurfaced, and uh, this time they said that uh, uh, there wasn't anything they could do and that this would be our last Christmas uh, wow. with her. And so we found that out er, you know, early December, and uh, it was very hard, yeah. very hard on uh, family and, and everything. And, and it took us quite a while to come through it, but uh, as Joy would always say, don't feel sorry for me, uh, make the best of it. And so one day my daughter came forward and said, Dad, how about we do this? And that's how the Joy of Life Foundation came about. Well, let's talk about it because, as we say, it is the, the fourth annual uh, Joy of Life concert foundation. Uh, when is it taking place and what's all going to take place during it, John? Okay, the uh, Saturday, October 3rd um, is going to be uh, the event. Um, the doors open at 630. Um, the concert is at 7 and uh, we'll finish up uh, around 10, 1030. Uh, this year we have the Galaxy Band coming in, yeah. and uh, they're a very uh, uh, well-known local band. Uh, people really have a good following. Yep. People love their music, uh, you know, 60s and 70s, yep. and uh, good dance music. and Music that you and I know and, and yeah. <laughs> know the words to. So uh, anyway, it's, uh, uh, they're a really good group. Um, and then uh, above and beyond that, we'll have some education uh, spots in there. Uh, to try and educate the community about some of the melanoma. Uh, in addition, we've got some different types of fundraisers. Uh, we have a silent auction mm -hmm. where we're always looking for silent auction items uh, from the community or anything like that. And uh, we've always had very, very good uh, uh, luck with that. Uh, the community's always stepped up. Businesses time. around here always step up. So for we are so cause. fortunate to live in that area that we do, yes, that, we do. Uh, people just get behind everybody and uh, that don't happen in a big city that's right. and I'm so grateful every day that I, I live where I do yes and uh, but then uh, 
above and beyond the silent auction items, we have um, what we call uh, a wild card. Okay. And so we sell a card for like twenty dollars. Okay. And and then you will come out, and uh, we may call out a suit. And if you have that suit, have a seat. Or we may call out a color or a number. Okay. Then we keep going till we have one person standing, and they are the winner of that particular uh, prize that oh, we have cool. selected for that event. That's a fun way to do it. Yeah. Something a little different than I've seen. I like that. And we have one other that's a little different. It's called Heads or Tails, and we sell beads. And so at the end, if you are in the Heads or Tails game, you come out, and we know because you got the beads on, and then we'll say either uh, heads or tails, <laughs> and we'll flip a coin, okay. and if it's heads, then all the people that chose tails is out, okay. and again, we go until we have one winner, wow. so a couple different ways to have a little fun nice with the fundraiser. Nice way to have fun, and, and, and raising the funds is the, the, it's a fun way to do that. Yes. Right? Exactly. So, uh, and now you've got, you know, we talk about, and we're certainly, was, we're celebrating Joy's life, and uh, she was such a special young lady but uh, and you've got and, but we're educating people yes. on melanoma the the yearly checkups you know if someone says something like that you should get that checked out don't mess around go in and get it looked at well uh, I have heard uh, you know the local people and and uh, the places uh, that do checkups say that since Joy's death we've had more people getting their skin checked than they ever have before and isn't and, that a wonderful feeling that, you know, it, it's not a defeat, it's yes, a victory. It, it's, it's making meaning to Joy's life. It is. It's uh, getting that word out there. And, uh, you know, it's something you should do annually. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, it's hard. People live busy lives and it's like, well, it's one more thing to do. But it's one very important thing to do is to get your skin checked because it could be just a little mole. Yep. And, uh, you know, with just a quick look. Uh, by a specialist, they can tell if it's cancerous or not, That's and right. whether it needs to be removed. So. Yeah. Well, and you know, you talked about how fortunate we are where we live, and we certainly are. But think of where we live. What do we do in the summertime? We're on the lake. We're we're in the cornfields. We're on the golf courses. We're on the trails. And if we're not putting on sunblock, and I'll admit, I'm sometimes my wife, who's in the skincare business, has to scold me. <laughs> but you know what? We do live where we're out in the sunshine a whole lot even more so reason to get those yearly checkups. It, we are. And, uh, you know, we, that's the number one thing that we really push is get checked. Get that yep. yearly checkup. Yep. Uh, the second thing we really push is sunscreen. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it should be uh, reapplied. Uh, you should be using a SPF of uh, at least 30 or better. Yeah. Um, uh, we actually try to use 50 or better. Yeah, we do too. And uh, we... Uh, uh, recommend that it should be applied every two hours, yep. uh, if not more, yep. but at least every two hours. And uh, so, you know, above and beyond being, uh, you know, trying to educate the uh, community about melanoma, uh, we want uh, uh, getting the skin checks. We want to uh, educate them about the use of sunscreen. Yep. And so many times, people go somewhere and they forget their sunscreen. So uh, we've come up with uh, this sunscreen dispenser yes and uh, uh, we have 100 women who care who helps us uh, keep these going as well uh, the maintenance um, but uh, that's what a lot of the money uh, goes for is to buy new sunscreen dispensers mm -hmm. to buy the sunscreen that goes in the dispenser right. and then I would say probably one of the most expensive things is is the batteries to keep it going oh sure and so um, we have, they either mount to a building uh, or a post, okay. um, or we have a stand that it comes on. Okay. Um, but we are currently in five different counties. Really? Okay. I can't tell you the exact number, but I know we're uh, up somewhere around 150, 200 of these in five different counties. Yeah. Wow. That's amazing. So we're currently uh, in Dickinson, Emmett, Clay, Palo Alto and Osceola counties. Okay, boy, and with more to come, I'm sure. Yeah, so we, uh, the whole thing uh, again is to, you know, try to get more and more out there. Um, these sunscreen dispensers are actually all over uh, the world. 
but we are the first ones in Iowa to have these. Yeah. And so we get more and more questions about them. And uh, the first places we like, anyone's welcome to put one up. All you got to do is call us and, you know, we'll try and get one in your area. But uh, the areas that we really try to hit are uh, like your public beaches, right? ball fields. Yep. Somebody might come to a ball field and run out or forget. The places where you're going to be in the sun for a long period of time and need the sunscreen. Yeah. That, them are the places we like to try and get them to. Exactly. Well, what a, what a great tribute. And you know what? They always say if you can change the life of one person and think of, like, say, the number of people that have gone and gotten their skin checks uh, since Joy's passing, the ability to use sunscreen to protect your skin. Yes. These are great, really great tributes to her. And what a great benefit for people in our five counties. And I'm sure it's just a spread. Well, if anybody that knew Joy, uh, her name fit her very well. She yeah. was just a joy to be around. Yes. Um, but she never wanted any, uh, any publicity um, or anything like that. She did everything like behind the scenes. Yeah. And so we thought this is sort of a neat way to do something behind the scenes um, that uh, also, you know, is sharing something about uh, the loss of her life, but maybe can save someone else's That's life. That's right. Absolutely. Well, again, the, uh, the, the uh, event is on Saturday, October 3rd, and we're here. Uh, I guess I haven't mentioned we're right here in the uh, Dickens County Fairgrounds, uh, right outside the Expo building. That's where it's going to be hold 7 to 10.30 there on October 3rd. Doors open at 6.30. Uh, and music, again, is going to be provided by Galaxy. We've got games. You've got the, the burn unit food truck's going to be available here, too. Yes, that was the first year last year, and that was a hit. So okay. people, so yeah. If you're in a hurry, you don't need to grab dinner. We'll have dinner here. Yeah. And uh, everybody was really uh, pleasantly surprised on how good the food was. So. Fantastic. But I've always, when I get good food, I'm always happy, John. <laughs> <laughs> That's part of it. That's all part of it. But it's a great night to, to raise funds, uh, to, to fight melanoma. That's what it's all about. Do yourself a favor, get that yearly check, wear that sunscreen, and you'll be, uh, you'll be contributing to the joy of life uh, all by yourself when you do that as well. Okaboji Broadcast with Jeff Thee is brought to you in part by Pure Fishing in Spirit Lake. Last Touch Painting and Cleaning, providing interior, exterior, and house painting and professional cleaning services in Spirit Lake. Okaboji Mattress Company, one mile west of the junction of Highway 9 and 71 in Spirit Lake. Bank Midwest, dream big, plan wisely, live well. And Duckies Marine and Motorsports Repair in Spirit Lake. Lakes Regional Healthcare and Avera Partner. Brands Law Office in Spirit Lake. Ruthven Locker, where carnivores are welcome on Hill Avenue in Spirit Lake. Back Engineering in Spirit Lake. Be Radiant Laser Skin Studio, newly located in the Okaboji Plaza in Okaboji. And by Quest Wealth Management, a financial advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services, advisors Jan Spielman, AJ Spielman, and Erica Walkholes.